Hello YouTube, this is Cypher and welcome to another video in which I'm looking at reviewing one of my lessons with my professional guitar tutor. This is going to be lesson 30 which was undertaken on the 15th of October, day 457 and I'm stopping with the number of hours because I'm finding now that I'm picking up the guitar more often and not always logging the hours that I'm doing. So I'm logging in my application some of the structured hours but when I've got 10 or 15 minutes and I am picking up a guitar and just running through some scales or whatever. So the hours are getting misled. So I'm starting to drop those at the moment. So this lesson was a face to face lesson, which was good. And we started off by talking about where I am at with REM and we've actually parked that now. Um, it, the last time I played it was reasonably good. I usually play it on the Ibanez, not on this guitar but I'll just run through it very, very quickly and just see how it goes. this guitar so I did miss a few bits and pieces and one of the other things that we've done in this lesson for reasons I'll get to in a moment is to change the pick um, I've come up to a much thicker pick so yeah that was the first time I've actually played that in probably about four or five days so we have parked REM now something I'm quite pleased with because it was getting a bit boring it was getting a bit mundane and that would be the last time that you hear that uh, now until such time as I pick it up again. I will pick up RBM. Everybody hurts from time to time. I'd like to finish the song at some point. Um, but for now, it's it's been basically put to one side. So we're continuing on a daily basis with the uh, Mose font finger exercise and also the pentatonic scales. I won't go through those now. Um, but we've got shape one in the first position and shape one in the second position, so the higher and lower register. Um, that's going reasonably well, and we've just moved on to shape two as well. Um, I will probably cover the pentatonic scales in a future video when I've got them under my fingers a little bit better. Um, but for those of you that do want to follow me along, then you can download the shapes which I've made available from the Patreon page. If you can't find it, let me know and I'll, um, I'll point you towards that. So that's going OK, working on that quite well. The other thing that we have been working on is the 12 bar blues. Now, one of the reasons why we've stepped up from a, um, it was a 0.5 mil pick up to a full 1 mil pick is I was a bit concerned that I wasn't really managing to get the 12 bar blues sounding the way that I wanted it to. When I was playing the second string, it wasn't really coming through. And I've just moved to the one mil pick and finding that to be much, much easier actually. Whether it be just as easy when I am strumming, I don't know, but for the moment it's it's not too bad. So still got quite a bit of work to do on this, but this is where we are at at the moment. <laughs> still needs some work and I still need to try and accentuate the um, second string 
so when I'm on the A power chord, slightly softer on the first string and then accentuate the second one and then again when I'm at the fourth fret. So I really need to try and dig in a little bit more on that second string, but that's something that I'm going to be working on over the next couple of weeks. And that's going to be the project song. So working with the new pick, getting the digging in on the string, getting my pick at a better angle. And then once we've done that, we'll be moving on to probably the turnarounds and things like that. Now, the last time um, in one of the last videos, I talked about ego songs and the fact I wanted to be doing an ego song. And the ego song that I've chosen to do is Stand By Me. And the reason for that is A, it's a relatively straightforward song. B, it uses power chords instead of full chords. C, there's a little bit of palm muting involved as well. So quite a lot technically. And also Matthew, who I'm hoping to be jamming along with at some point, this is one of the songs that he knows. He knows the chords. So what I've decided to do is to start with the exercise where I'm playing the bass notes. So basically what we are doing is, I'll go through the strings first of all. So we play an open sixth string. So this is a low E. We then play the four frets on that same string. And then we need to play the A power chord, which is putting your finger on the fourth string laying it down onto the second string, uh, so onto the third string. And then we are actually playing um, strings five, four, and three. And what we're trying to do is to palm mute just after you've played that chord. So if I just go through that, still got to work on quite a fair bit um, but that's quite a nice little um, exercise there and then once we've actually done that for let me just check my sheet uh, twice we then play slightly differently so we then play the open fifth string fourth on the sixth string, two on the sixth string, and then we keep our finger on the second fret of the sixth string, and we put our ring finger down on the fifth and the fourth string to play that chord, and we're playing the top three strings. So that is and then after that we then move that shape up to the fifth fret and we play the fifth string open and then the on the fifth string fifth fret and then the fourth and third string on the seventh fret and we're strumming out the fifth, fourth and third strings. And then we move all of that up to the seventh fret with the same fingering and we're playing the open fifth and then the chord. Not quite sure which chord that is, I'll need to look that up. Um, but on the music sheet, those two chords are, if I can find them, uh, 775 and then 997. And again, that's on the fifth, fourth and third strings. So if I just try and play that through, and again, I've only just started this, I haven't got it in my head, 
and it's quite slow but um, this is how it should sound. So yeah, got to work on that a little bit more, um, um, but I will put this Stand By Me exercise in the description below. So if you want to follow through slowly, then you can do so. Uh, like I said, at the moment, um, I've only been playing through this once or twice, so it's really quite new. Um, I quite like playing it on the Les Paul. It sounds good, got the Spark Amp on as well. Um, but like I said, I will include the exercise in the description link for my Patreon page and I will probably do a video in a few days time when I can play this a little bit better and then probably just take you through the chords and the fingering as well but this is really just an update on what we're doing currently and how my lesson 30 went so thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again very soon on another video take care bye bye